Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nikki. And I'm Rachel. And we're the Stitch Sisters. And we are back with part two of our oh. spring wardrobe, handmade wardrobe try on session. <laughs> We've had so much fun today, haven't oh, we? Trying on all ridiculous. of our me maids, yeah. each other's me maids. Yes. And throwing in some ready to wear and some thrift as well. Because yeah. we like a little bit of everything. We like the way it all goes together and it gives you so many options. Yes. So that's what's good about our wardrobe. Absolutely. That and the splash of colour. I know. If it's bright and colourful <laughs> and it makes us happy, then it's good to go. Yes. <laughs> so this video is all about the sli being slightly more dressed up. Yes. So imagine going for brunch with your girlfriend yeah. or going out to dinner. Yeah. Going out to dinner yeah. with your friends or with your husband. Yeah, we can't oh, see ourselves going out, out anytime soon. That's certainly not going to no. be allowed in the UK for a while. So, you know, out for a meal, like you say, out for, for to meet friends, garden yeah. parties, that sort of thing. Most yes. of our socialising is going to be done outdoors this summer. Yes. So it's that kind of thing. Yeah. And you might notice that, um, you know, really super glam isn't kind of on our menu at the moment. You know, no. we've gone from joggers and sweatshirts and that sort of thing. So, you know, anything thing that makes us feel slightly glam is glam enough we don't yes. need to go completely over the top we're not going to the opera it's no. just a nice casual version of dressing yeah. up yeah dresses with sh with trainers or yes. even with a slight heel but nothing too fancy yeah. but then calming it down with a denim jacket yeah. or with something a bit more casual yeah. or even dressing up i quite like the kind of counterbalance of that dressing up jogging jogging bottoms like you've done da -da. today yes so they're not your knackered old ones that you've had for 20 years these are nice ones in bright colours yeah. and dress them up and they could still look fabulous. Yeah, I think so too. And I think that the elasticated waist is here to stay. Yes. I'm not in any rush to get rid of that no. anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> but if you haven't already watched it, go back and watch the first video where we are sticking to more casual outfits, everyday outfits, things that you yeah. can chuck on literally any day of the week and you don't have anywhere that you need to go. There's something for everyone in both videos, I think, to Absolutely. be honest. We've not got, like we said, we've not gone super glam, but we've gone glam enough. Yes. But it's just there to give you a little bit of inspiration and for us to have a bit of fun and rediscover our wardrobe. Exactly. And if you haven't watched the first video, then you won't know that actually on this occasion, we put all of our clothes together on one big rail and we kind of shopped from each other's closets in a way. So yes. we just tried on each other's things, teamed our own things with each other's things. Yeah. And it was just a really lovely way for us to reconnect, being allowed to actually spend time together yes it was legal and everything <laughs> <laughs> Boris said so he did <laughs> so without further ado let's get into these slightly more dressed up outfits here's the first one coming up now here we are with outfit number one and I love this pairing. It's my uh, Norma shirt, which I've worn quite a lot now from Style Arc and Fiber teamed Mood. from Fibre Mood and teamed with a pair of culottes that are yours. My giant red culottes. <laughs> I've which always are loved hot them. patterns. Yes, and the pattern is no longer available now. No, I mean, to be honest, it took quite a lot of hacking to get them looking like that anyway. They don't look like that straight out of the packet, so no. to speak. So I think I need to borrow them. I think I need to have a, a constant, <laughs> can I? I borrow your culottes please of course you can <laughs> and i've teamed them with a cute little yellow bag a pair of 70 shades and a pair of wedges i love those yellow wedges i really love the proportions of this outfit they say that if you've got volume on top then you shouldn't have volume on the bottom but i think because it's fitted around the waist area it just really works and i love the silhouette it's gorgeous i really like this outfit So I've got my favourite colour combo here, all the reds and pinks. I just love red and pink. Um, but this is probably one of my proudest but most underworn items, my red mm. leather uh, biker jacket. I don't know why I don't wear it more often. Um, maybe there just aren't enough things in my wardrobe, but this try-on session really showed me that there are definitely more options. Absolutely. Um, and actually, everything else is ready to wear and stolen from you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Zara jeans, which I've recently just bought, and I've got a yellow pair exactly the same. And then I think it's just a pair pink t-shirt which and my still necklace. had the tag on yes <laughs> I, I wore it first <laughs> and another pair of wedges to team it with and another pair of 70 shades so I've teamed my bright yellow uh, Amsterdam blazer here with a little Ogden cami. And the cami has got so many colours in it, but I've never teamed the two of them together. And I just think you could really go to town with this. You could wear it with a pair of jeans, you could wear it with anything, but I really love the combination. Oh, I loved it. Because you decided on the blazer and the skirt, I think, first. Yeah. And then we saw the cami and we're like, yes, that will work perfectly. <laughs> 
But I just love how the little pop of pink from the handbag really brings out the other colour. Yeah. Um, and that's actually a thrifted skirt, one of mine, um, that I just bought off of eBay. That's the way I've been thrifting during lockdown. Yes. And, uh, and I just love the colour of it, but it works so well with the other colours. It does. The only thing I might change is that if I had a pair of pink shoes to go with it. Ooh. So I think that would look nice. It would. Now, I didn't realise how lucky I was when I grabbed this dress of yours. Is this the Asher dress from Style Art? It is, yes. But I hadn't realised that you'd never actually shared it. No! <laughs> <laughs> you'd taken pictures, but you hadn't actually put them anywhere. No, and... I'd kept it, kept it secret, but what a gorgeous dress. Oh, it is lovely. And it's one of those that I'm really glad I decided to try on because I just wouldn't have, I would never have chosen the pattern. Right. Um, but really, really loved it once it was on. And the great thing about dresses is it's an outfit ready to go, isn't it? All I yeah. did was grab a handbag, some shoes, steal your daffodils, and I was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl needs a bunch of daffs. Obviously. <laughs> This is another brand new one, so you guys are the first people to see it, and it's another lockdown make. It's the Beatrix Maxi Dress, which is a Liberty Patterns, and I made it in this wallpaper print from Minerva. It's just a cotton, but I absolutely loved it. And I think it's a really nice summer dress. Even though it's got long sleeves, I think you could shorten the sleeves and make it a, a proper summer dress, but I just love it. But even a lighter fabric, um, like if you had like a, a gauze or a voile or something like that, a lawn yeah. even, would make it even better for summer. But it was love at first sight with this pattern for you, it wasn't was. it? As soon as Liberty launched their sewing patterns, you were like, I'm, <gasps> I'm it. making that one. <laughs> and it looks absolutely gorgeous on you. You look like 70s bohemian goddess. <laughs> I think I would wear it out to dinner because long sleeves is quite nice in the evening so I think I'd still wear it in the summer. So your yellow Amsterdam blazer is back for this one. <laughs> Um, but I've paired it this time with my Winslow collots that I made a good few summers ago in this uh, stripy crepe fabric. Um, and another one of the tees that I copied from that Zara one that I mentioned. Uh -huh. um, but it was, it's a really good example of what happens when you start trying on different things. Because all I did was think I want to wear the blazer. Then I thought I haven't worn these for ages. Yeah. I would never have normally chosen orange to go with them. But as no. soon as I put it all together, I absolutely loved it. This is one of my favourites, I think. Was it? And But I think this is the thing about a yellow jacket like that something that's that this bold strong color can work with so many different things yeah and, and it's one of the colors of the season oh, isn't it? oh you see and i love it on you i really love those winslow colots as well i've always loved them yeah i'm definitely making more this summer another one of my lockdown makes and one i've not shared either you went dress crazy <laughs> This is the Paula from uh, Fiber Mood. I love Fiber Mood patterns. And it's another one that I've made just in this sort of drill crepe that I bought. Um, and it's a, it's a black and white pattern, which I haven't ever done before. I've never done anything monochrome like that, but I really love it. It's really loose fitting and teamed with your red jacket. Oh, it's just uh, perfection. I loved that. The shades, the trainers, the styling was absolutely spot on for the whole outfit. And again, it was another one that I just thought I could it, just take that off you and put it on me <laughs> and be perfectly happy. You're very welcome to. You can borrow it anytime <laughs> you like. It's a really loose fitting, really comfy dress for summer. So this is a vintage 1980s pattern, the, the dress that I made right at the start of the first lockdown. Uh -huh. And I called it my happy dress because I inadvertently created an H with the stripes on the <laughs> bodice. So it's my happy dress. I love the pastel colours. It's actually the reverse side of the duvet that I made oh. my DIY dangas out of. Um, and uh, and I just love how simple it is. Um, it's very 80s kind of mum styling. I love it though. And it just shows you how much you can get out of a double duvet cover. It's yeah. amazing. So much fabric and a great cost-effective way to make clothes. Um, and I stole your denim jacket because it was handy and my basket bag and your yellow wedges again. I again. need to get some yellow wedges. Yeah, everyone needs a pair of yellow wedges and a basket bag. <laughs> And of course, I had to put on your yellow wilder gown. <laughs> there was no getting away from it. And I teamed it with this little pink jacket, which is just a thrifted one that's in my wardrobe, and a pair of uh, flashy heels. Yeah. A pair of heels, my Gold goodness. Heels, Gold heels. No Gold heels. So this, again, I think is kind of an outfit for going out in the evening or going out to dinner, but I still super comfy. 
I love it. And I think that this is one people have struggled with the wheels again. They don't know how to style it. Some mm. people think it needs to be cinched in at the waist. But I think the length of the jacket that you've chosen there is really crucial there because if it had been longer, it would have looked odd. And if it yeah. had been shorter, it would have looked odd. I think hitting that kind of hip there is the perfect length. And it just, I don't know how, but makes it look smarter um, and still yeah. cinches it in, but without yeah. having anything around the waist. And the heels make a difference as well. So I really think it's a good outfit. So this is head to toe me made here and actually one of my favorite combinations. Again, I would never have thought of putting them together, but I thought, oh, I've not worn these jeans yet. So let me grab a t-shirt. So the jeans are the Dawn jeans that I made from two pairs of men's Levi's uh -huh. um, in a kind of patchwork style. Uh, the t-shirt is a red plantain tee from right. a few years back. And then it's my Isla trench coat. Um, but again, it's another red pink combo. Uh -huh. um, but I just love with the red uh, wedges and the red bag and the red shades. It just just feels smart like I'm going somewhere fancy but really I've just got jeans and a t-shirt on yeah and there's a big trend this this spring and summer for trench coats and trench coats worn with things like joggers and jeans so you're bang on trend but it just means that you've got a big layer of covering but you're still super comfy underneath there's me showing you that it's the short sleeve version of my plant <laughs> <laughs> And there's and my showing. patchwork Oh, pockets. look at your patchwork bottom <laughs> very nice but yeah this is definitely one that I'll wear again so how was that? Was that a little slice of glamour for you? <laughs> you can tell we're both tired after all of those changes of clothing <laughs> all day, but it was so much fun. It was so yeah, worth it. Absolutely. And if you have, are getting a bit bored of your lockdown wardrobe, then we can highly recommend setting out an afternoon to just try on all your clothes and, and, and encourage yourself to try on combinations that you might not have put together before. Yep. If nothing else, it will show you where the holes in your wardrobe are, and mm -hmm. that will help influence the things that you might I want to make going into spring and summer the kind of patterns and fabrics that you might want to look for yeah um, and you might decide that you don't need anything at all because actually what you have is brilliant and you've not had nearly enough chance to wear it in the last exactly. year exactly but put them together with things that you've not tried them with before think of uh, clashing some colors or having like having a blend of colors like Rachel's wearing today so anything like that just try it on and see what happens no one needs to know if it was a disaster no. but you never know what you might find absolutely and if you do take some brilliant pictures and make sure you share them on Instagram and tag us at the Stitch Sisters so that we can see too. So it's at the Stitch Sisters UK. Now everything will all be tagged below. So all of the me maids, all the ready to wears that we can find, the, the fabrics, patterns, everything like yeah. that, every, all patterns will be down below. So go and check that out if you want to make some of your own. And we've got lots of other ideas for videos and we've got lots more options now. We're allowed to be together, <laughs> albeit outside, so it's weather dependent, but yes. we're going to do our best. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you in the next video soon. Bye. Bye. Boom. Boom. Where's that beer? <laughs> yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for lots more sewing and style content. And if you're inspired by our makes, why not check out our online sewing classes where we can help you to learn to sew and improve your sewing skills.